Hey everyone, this time we talk about widgets on the iPhone, more specifically an app called Widgy, which is available to be downloaded as a third party app. And this one offers many functionalities and many functions. So I'm just gonna show it to you right now. Of course, at first you need to make sure that you have it installed. So I'm just gonna look it up like this. It's the WDGOY, I believe, yeah. So you can see, yeah, Widgy with the I in between. Anyways, I have it installed. So that, that is the first step. And if you wanna customize the widgets, you have to make sure that you open it up like this. So here it is, I'm gonna open it up. And inside you're gonna be presented with some options. So you can pick the language at first. So I'm gonna hit continue. Then the date language, again, the same stuff. You can use the metric system, some settings which you can go through uh, apparently. So you can skip through that if you want. So I'm just gonna go with that. It probably shows you some different things as well in terms of like weather, uh, the app icon, I don't care about that. That's okay. Hit continue. Continue. This just gives me like a tutorial, but I will show you exactly how I can use it. So at first you are presented with a couple of different widgets which are available in here. So what you can do is to simply create a new one if you really wanted to. So for example, create a new widget, which you're going to uh, pick the uh, size for. So let's say that it's just going to be for the home screen. These are for the lock screen and Apple watch. These are the live activities or dynamic island, doesn't matter. So pick what you want, but this time we talk about widgets. So it's going to be the small size. And let's say that this is going to be the name and the title. And the way that you that it works is that you can literally create your own style and customize every single thing. So you can see so many different things in here. You can change the uh, layers. It you, you basically get a canvas, which you can customize and do basically anything that you want with it. You can see you can create a text gesture or whatever you want, drag it along. You can edit the text. So definitely very um, important or like a different app compared to the basic widgets uh, apps or third party solutions for that. So that's how it works. And now you basically get to the layers. It looks very similar to Photoshop or to these other apps. And you can, for example, just basically just craft your own image and position it wherever you want along the grid. It's really nice. You can make it, I believe that larger or smaller. So yeah, this is just how it works. Just choose the specific image and play around with it. I'm not going to be able to show you all of this stuff right here. So um, it is a bit more like in the depth, I would say, but it's not like, um, yeah, you have to definitely play around with it. And of course, but this is just how it works and this is how you have to create it. So yeah, once you do that, you have to confirm and this is your new widget. Now, what you have to do is to basically add it to the home screen if you want to. Okay. I'm just jumping through the process, but once you have it ready, once you have created your own widget with all of the functionalities, what you have to do is just to hold down on the home screen anywhere and just go through it and find the Widgie application. So you will go like this and find it out in here. So here it is. And for example, add the small one to the home screen. Now, what you have to do is just to click on it and choose the one, which is going to be the one that you selected for it. And it already picked the, the white one, which I created, but let me just show you how it looks when you just go and have to set it up on your own. So let me just add the small number two. So here's the small two. And when I click on it, it gets me inside of the app like this. And yeah, I have to pay for the full version in case I want to get the most out of it. But this is basically how we can assign like the created widget, which you have personally created to the slot on the home screen. So you can just make it show up on your actual home screen and craft your entire widget as much as you like with all the functionalities that you want. So that's like a blueprint of how this works. I'm not going to go in depth and I'm not going to be showing you every single thing because it would be like another tutorial on its own. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you right now. For now, make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up for more Fox Tech videos in the future. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later.